how to perform the wiring of auto changeover switch i already made a video on this after making the video on this i placed this auto changeover switch in my office when i placed this in office then i came to know about a problem after the drop in voltage auto changeover switch is still providing main power supply let's understand the problem in detail i selected this multimeter on ac i am connecting the probes on the terminals of phase supply and neutral supply now here you can see the voltage voltage now is 240 volts you can see voltage is getting decreased and right now the voltage is 188 so even when voltage is 188 volt the load connected here is still working but this must not happen let's turn off the mcb i turned off this mcb but still power is supplied through this mcb this means even when the voltage is dropped this ats is supplying the power to our home what actually we want is when voltage is decreased this normal power supply should fail and power supply through generator ups or inverter should start providing power supply to our home so if you want to solve this voltage related problem then you have to use this voltage protection device i am going to use this two voltage monitoring relay because i want the protection for the main power supply and even the protection for the power supply coming from generator so how we are going to connect these two relay with the ats let's understand this ats i have now is already finished up with the power wiring i am not going to make any changes in this i already made a video on power wiring you can visit the channel and watch it but still i am quickly explaining you the power wiring see if you want to provide power supply to this ats what you have to do is you can look here on ats it is written normal power supply at these terminals here on this side you have to connect normal power supply you can see the symbol of generator here at the side of this symbol you will find two terminals here you have to connect the power supply from generator so the power supply from generator is supplied to this mcb and from here i supplied the power to these terminals for connection of this load here at below you will find two terminals you can see there are two terminals from these terminals take the power supply to your homes only this much power wiring is required apart from this for this ats to perform automatic change over you have to do the controlling controlling is very simple what you have to do is connect two wires along with normal power supply and above this normal power supply you will find auxiliary contact here you have to connect phase supply and neutral supply similarly you have to connect generator power supply to this auxiliary contact here you have to connect phase supply and neutral supply friends with this ats i want to connect this voltage monitoring relay for connection what you have to do is don't make any changes in the power wiring only the changes in control wiring is required and only you have to remove the phase supply wire i removed the phase supply of generator similarly i am removing phase supply of the normal power supply i removed these two wires the wiring which is going to be performed now understand this clearly so here through this voltage monitoring relay if you want protection then we need to provide voltage feedback to this relay for providing feedback for voltage what you can do is through this normal power supply provide supply to a1 a2 terminal of this relay as you can see here are a1 and a2 terminals at these terminals you have to provide phase supply and neutral supply i am connecting two wires at a1 and a2 terminals respectively take other ends of these wires and in this ats at the normal power supply terminals connect the wires with these terminals the way in which you provided feedback to relay of normal power supply in the same way to this relay provide feedback of generator for this what we will do is at a1 a2 terminal of this relay connect two wires at these terminals take other end of these wires which we connected at these terminals and connect with incoming terminals of generator power supply at this point is coming from here only you connect wires here or at this point it is same so i am connecting the wires here to this relay we provided feedback of voltage from this point now in this ats at the control terminal here we have to provide phase supply and neutral supply we already provided neutral power supply before you can see neutral wire is connected at both sides we only need to provide phase supply the phase supply provided here will be through this relay this means this relay will provide power supply only when the voltage is proper if voltage is not proper then there should not be any supply of power at this point to make sure this will happen 
what you have to do is at the A1 terminal of this relay connect one more wire. This wire will be used for phase supply. We connected one end of wire here, take other end of the wire and in this relay at 11 number terminal which is common terminal connect this wire with this common terminal. The 14 number terminal of this relay is NO terminal. Connect one wire at the NO contact. This relay is used for normal power supply, so power will be supplied to control terminal of normal power supply at the AR terminal of control terminal. Means at the first power source, wire will be connected with phase terminal. The wiring we did just now, in the same way, power supply from this relay will be connected to this control terminal. What we will do is, at the A1 terminal of relay, connect one wire with this terminal. Take other end of the wire and connect with the common terminal here that is 11 number terminal. With the NO contact of this relay, connect one wire, take other end of the wire and at control terminal of generator, connect the wire with the phase terminal. You can see here it is written BR. It means phase supply of source B is to be connected here. So the whole wiring of auto changeover switch is completed. I connected both the props of multimeter here so that I can show you the voltage. Now at both these voltage monitoring relay some setting is required so that at how much over voltage or how much under voltage our ATS will turn off the power supply. For this programming what you have to do is if you look at this relay you will find total 3 knobs here. Through this upper knob you can set the over voltage with this below one under voltage and with this knob you can set the time limit. I am programming over voltage as 250 volt. This means when voltage exceeds 250 our ATS will turn off this power supply. For under voltage 180 is minimum. So let it be 180 volt. Now we can set the time limit that till how much time this relay should wait to normal the power supply. I am setting this time as 4 seconds. Similarly we will do the programming of this relay for generator. Over voltage as 250 volt, under voltage as 180 and time delay is 4 seconds. You can see no voltage is showing because MCB is off. When MCB is turned on, you can see ATS performed the changeover and load in our home is turned on. Right now you can see the voltage as 240 volt. Let's turn on this power supply also. This is for generator power supply. Let's turn off this MCB. Now when I turn on this MCB, you will observe changeover will take little time. You just saw it takes little time now for changeover. This is happening because this relay will first monitor the voltage and after that it will supply power to ATS and changeover takes place. We understood the working of ATS. How we will get protection from this relay? Let's understand. See the voltage right now is 241. I am decreasing this voltage. You can see voltage is dropping. Now the voltage is less than 160 volt. You can see ATS performed the changeover. Voltage got back to normal. Ok, one problem which is occurring now is the system I used to reduce the voltage is instantly increasing the voltage. I am simply using this fan regulator for decreasing the voltage so it is creating a problem. Just understand the concept here. When voltage is decreased then this relay will not send the feedback to this control terminal. In this condition this ATS will automatically perform changeover. When voltage get back to normal you can see ATS is performing the changeover. I hope you understood the whole concept. But if you still have some doubt, you can comment in the comment box. I will reply to your queries. Friends, if you want to understand the whole connection of ATS, then click on this right side video to watch. Thanks for watching this video.